Sandstorms cause havoc in China, gender bending caused by H2O, and cheetahs return to southern Angola. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Wednesday, March 24th. China finally breathed some fresh air yesterday after a massive sandstorm engulfed the cities in northern China in a yellow haze of sand and grit. The storms are a direct result of desertification caused by overgrazing, deforestation, urban sprawl and drought which have expanded deserts in the country's north and west. The shifting sands have encroached onto populated areas, increasing the intensity of sandstorms that strike cities. China's Central Meteorological Agency said no further storms were expected in the country. Good news for neighboring South Korea, Taiwan and Hong Kong. A new study by UNESP Science reveals that chemicals found in our water supply have the ability to bend the gender of marine animals. According to the journal, endocrine disruptors are to blame for the increased incidence of reproductive abnormalities in various species around the world. One dramatic study of 25 Brazilian estuaries revealed that 8% of hermit crabs possess both male and female reproductive organs. The culprit, TBT, a chemical found in paint used on boats. Researchers fear that endocrine disruptors may have a affected hormones in humans as well, with a rapid decline in sperm count in men over the past 60 years. And finally, scientists have just witnessed the miraculous return of cheetahs in southern Angola. This is the first sighting in three decades since Angola's civil war had devastated the cheetah's habitat. The cheetahs were spotted on the 3.8 million acre Iona Wilderness Area, a dedicated nature preserve. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.